Hello and welcome to today's video where I'll be covering my webcomic process in Clip Studio Paint. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at Clip Studio Paint's ribbon brushes and stamps that you can use to add extra detail to your comics. Links to additional tutorials, as well as everything mentioned in today's video, will be down in the description below. Oftentimes when making webcomics, working quickly is the best way to keep readers' attention and maintain a regular schedule so artists don't always have lots of time to spend on each individual panel. Back when I first started reading webcomics, I used to see characters wearing lots of frilly lace, chains, and detailed jewelry, and think to myself, how did this artist draw this so quickly? At the time, I just assumed those artists were all experts, gifted with some incredible ability to draw details super fast. But once I got older and started to use Clip Studio Paint to draw myself, I realized that all along, those artists had actually been taking advantage of Clip Studio Paint's ribbon and decorative brushes. A ribbon brush is a brush type that allows you to draw one continuous line of any design set as the brush tip. Similarly, decorative brushes can be used to stamp in individual designs wherever the artist draws. By using these brushes, an artist can quickly add in a row of lace, string of pearls, shoelaces, etc. with very little fuss so the artist doesn't have to compromise on having detailed designs or on saving time. To create a ribbon style brush, the first step is to create the brush tip. You should treat the tip of your brush like a pattern that repeats in one direction. Try to draw it symmetrically, or in such a way that sticking two of them side by side will continue the pattern. For this example, I've drawn a little chain link design that I'd like to be able to turn into a full string of chains. One easy way to test this is by duplicating your layer and moving the copy next to the original. If the pattern continues seamlessly, that means you've done it correctly. Also, notice how the edges of the design are cut off at around the halfway point of the top and bottom chain link. This guarantees that when the two halves are put together, it'll give the illusion of one full chain link. Now we'll turn our drawing into a brush tip. An important thing to note when making a brush tip is that, for best results, you'll want to draw it in black and white. When using Clip Studio Paint's brush engine, you can tell it to make your brush adapt to your selected colors by setting the brush tip's expression color to gray. This essentially tells the engine that you'd like it to treat the black values as your main color and the white values as your subcolor. In our example here, I'm using black for the outlines, and white is the fill color. After the brush is registered, if I switch my subcolor to red, then I should end up with a chain with a red fill. If you want a brush tip to exclusively stay one color though, you can instead draw the tip in that color, and register it with the color expression color setting instead of gray. When you've chosen your preferred expression color setting, register the brush tip under Edit Register Material Image, and be sure to check the brush tip box. With our tip ready, we can go ahead and add it to a brush. As usual when making a new brush in Clip Studio Paint, the easiest way is to duplicate a pre-existing brush of the type you want and go from there, so that's what we'll do. Switch out the brush tip for your new one in the Subtool Detail panel and head to the Stroke menu. Make sure ribbon is checked, and decide which repeat method works best for your design. Finally, I personally like to go to the correction menu and raise my stabilization setting a bit. This ensures that the strokes I draw are smooth and helps prevent awkward creasing of the ribbon. To make a stamp style decoration brush, all you have to do is create whatever design you'd like, then uncheck ribbon and change the settings under gap to fixed the slider will adjust how close together each stamp design will be. As a final note, you can make more complicated designs by creating and adding in multiple brush tips. The repeat method setting under the stroke menu will determine how the different tips repeat themselves. This is useful if you want to stamp down a varied group of designs with one brush, or if you'd like your ribbon brush to draw out a more complicated pattern like lace. Those are the basics for how to make and use decorative ribbon brushes in Clip Studio Paint. In the next video, I'll go over some examples of how to use and incorporate these brushes into your work. Check the description below for my social media links and more tutorials. 
Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.